So thank you for having me. Um, this is exciting. I, I like, you know, when I went around the room, I did that because I really enjoy everybody else's stories. I have a certain story and I have a roadmap by which, you know, I lived my life, right? How I got here. And so do you. And I find that when I, when I meet new people, to hear their stories and how they came about uh, is just fascinating to me. And the gentleman at the end told me how their company got out, really got off the ground. And uh, I mean, it's a story that you could retell and retell. He did a good job for one guy. That guy happened to be very influential and has brought them an enormous amount of business. And um, it was just a great story. So I'm going to try today to do this in a way uh, where I can tell a story to you, because I think that's the most interesting way to go. I have some slides here. It's not my way of doing things, just so you know. Usually I just talk and talk and forget what I'm supposed to say. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try to get these points across to you so that you will find some value of the, from this. After this training is over, we're going to have some quick questions. And it'll be important for you to listen because those questions will get you something, uh, you know, a free something. I forgot. What, what did we buy? Some gift certificates from Starbucks. Okay. Something little, but it's just something to kind of keep you awake, keep me, keeping you guys alive, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to give TCG an exam with three questions on it. And by the way, these questions are going to be the same questions. So this is like, this is like the comedy defensive driving. I am going to give you everything you need to pass, OK? You, will not, you, you won't keep your ticket. You'll get rid of the ticket. You guys know what that's all about? Comedy defensive driving? Anybody hear of this? OK, so in Texas, they have a law that if you get a certain kind of a ticket, you can go to class. And these are classes that are registered to teach defensive driving, and there's actually one called comedy defensive driving. And actually, Melanie and I, this is Melanie Sanahara to my left. She's uh, channel director for my firm. Melanie is, um, is your person locally here. But anyway, I was going to tell you, uh, in Texas, they actually have one called comedy store defensive driving. And they have an actor or a comedian, a stand-up comedian, teach it. And they want you to pass, so they give you the answers all the way along, and they'll say, now, don't remember this unless you want to pass the test. So I may do that as we go along. So what you'll do is you'll have a three-question exam at the end of this, um, and it'll be sent to you. And when you pass that, you will be certified to sell Sextera services. Now, what does that mean? It's a basic sales training about what we do. Okay, And we're going to try to have some fun. It's not going to be all slideware. We're going to try to have some fun doing it. We have three main offerings, okay, and this is really easy, because I'm not going to ask you this on the test, unless, unless you want to pass. Um, uh, three main offerings, data center services. Uh, the second one is security software, okay? And the third one is very in-depth, very small boutique security consulting. Now. Those of you that are consultants, if you have a desire to work with us in the future with your own services, we will take names for that because we're going to, we're going to be looking for, for people that can do installations and security um, software type, um, maybe vulnerability testing, sort of the, the easier kinds of things to do that are broadly needed. So we will consider your company um, to augment ours, because we just have a handful of people. We're only there to help sell our other products, these consultants. So we'd, like to, we'd actually like to interview you if you do that kind of work today. So I don't want you to be too hung up on, oh, they offer consulting. No, our consulting service is very targeted, and it's really for, I'll tell you what they do, OK? I'll give you an example. We need people that will do the day-to-day -day things. But these guys, what will happen is they'll get a call from a big bank. And the bank will say, I've been hacked. Come, come right away. And they'll get on the private plane, and they'll go. And they'll take a look at what's happened. And they'll offer remediation techniques and, and thoughts. But that's, about, that's the kind of work they do. It's very limited. And it's usually something that is generated through our work with 
these big time security companies like Kroll, sort of the sort of proof of life guys. All right, on that note, this is our agenda. Who are we? What is this company all about? What's different and how to sell with us? And then of course, next steps, which is all about Melanie. Okay. How many of you have sold data center services, uh, co-location type data center services? One, anybody? Two, okay. Three, okay, all right. So three out of, what do we got, 25 in here right now? Three out of 25, I'm gonna tell you something, 22 people here are losing money every day. 22 of you are not taking advantage of something that is very easy to sell, in my humble opinion, and uh, it's a quick close, and, um, and you've got some great experts at TCG that can help you. So let's talk about that real quickly. Sixterra is a company that was formed only a year ago. Our investors bought 57 data centers out of CenturyLink. We combined them with four software companies that are in the security space, owned by a company called Medina Capital. And we rolled it all together and went to market as Sixterra in May of last year, so exactly a year ago. Now, Medina Capital came out of, uh, the person that founded is Manny Medina. And if you don't know who Manny Medina is, Manny is a, a, a Cuban uh, immigrant, came over at age 12, and ended up forming a huge con um, construction company, and then ended up forming uh, Terramark. So if you're familiar with Terramark, that's where Manny came from. And a lot of us used to work there. Uh, the, the only important aspect of that is that we've done this before. Terramark was known as having some of the best data centers on the open market. And I want you to know that when Terramark bought my company and I was in managed services, I didn't know a thing about co-location either. And um, within two weeks, I knew exactly what to say and what to do. It's not that complicated. I'm going to ask you another question. Who here has bought a condominium or a home? OK. All right, if you bought real estate, you've bought what co-location services is all about. It's simply this. It's a space to put data equipment. Now that might be telecommunications equipment, that might be computer equipment. Simple as that. It's space, power, and what they call the ping, right? Which you guys are, I'm sure, are very familiar with. Um, network services, if you should want them. Oftentimes, customer, customers come to our data center already with the telco already figured out and, and own it. They're in their own data center. It's usually a building that is in a floodplain, <laughs> or, or it's a closet with their data center in it, and they know it's, it's just asking for trouble in a couple of different ways. One, environmentally, it's not good. Two, it's, it's, it could be you know, uh, breached at any time by just walking in the closet and taking something. Uh, normally, those kinds of companies need a secure place to go. And so they come to us. And we have companies as large as Amazon as a client and as small as, as you know, a half of Iraq, OK? Um, Co-location companies differentiate themselves in, in a few different ways. There are some that will tell you that they have the most uh, telco connections on the planet. Why would that be interesting to you? Well, if you're a company and you're in a closet and you're working with one telco provider and you want to keep that telco provider, wouldn't it be nice if that telco provider is also providing services in that data center? Maybe it could be on net, right? Uh, the other reason is for latency purposes. If your office is here, but the data center is in another city, you have to be cognizant of the communication going between. Okay? By the way, that's where you see a lot of data center work drive telco services because they want to increase the size of the pipe, they want to do different things. Okay? So in that regard, those that have the most connections in data centers have often been revered. Right? Oh, they have 72 connections, that must be the best data center. Well, let me tell you, it's not as necessary anymore because there are all these services out there 
that can allow you to connect um, like Megaport and others. So anybody that differentiated on how many connections into the data center no longer has that advantage. So when we were building our company, we decided we were going to differentiate on something very, uh, very, very, you know, revolutionary in our business, and that is differentiate on security. We all know that this is necessary, and we really haven't seen anybody do this yet. So what does that mean? Well, it doesn't mean biometrics at the door, right? Put your hand down, put your code in, standard. It doesn't mean cameras like this at the door, standard. It doesn't mean uh, bomb sniffing dogs or machine gun guards, okay? Standard now. This kind of security is based on logical security. It is at the network level. It is special, it is different, and it is, to me, all those other things, if you don't have them, you shouldn't be in the data center business. That's what I call table stakes. Anybody here gamble, right? That's what you need to get in on the game. But how do you get better, different, you differentiate with special things? And that is what we've done. So what we have is we've layered security in at the network level. And you or your customers can then choose whether you want to add it at that point or not. Imagine a red or a green switch. Those that want security, we press the green switch in the meet point room. Those that don't, get the red. Simple as that. I'm keeping it very basic here because I don't want to throw a lot of things out and have you not retain any of it because I know what it's like to be trained in these rooms. So if anybody wants more details about anything I talk about, you're welcome to ask me afterwards. All right? So let's keep going. We've got 57 data centers around the world. Some of them are A++++ and some of those are B. And we might have one or two Cs in there. And why is that? Because our company was built on acquisitions. We bought 57 data centers from CenturyLink. CenturyLink bought them from Quest and bought them from Savvis. And so there's a variety of different, you know, sort of class buildings in there. Why is that good? Well, for us, we want to be the Four Seasons, not in price, but in quality. We want you to be able to walk in and know that you're going to have the same things regardless of where you go. So if you're using our data center in Chicago, you'll be happy with the data center in Tampa or vice versa. So it's not our preference. We would have rather build them from the ground up, purpose built, all the same. But we've inherited these, okay? So what are we doing? We've classed them in three cl categories and we have a beautification effort going on in some of the B's so that they come up to the A's so that you know, they show better. But they won't have the A price. So if you're selling data center services today and you're used to paying the A price for certain locations, give us a try because we're going to have an A-class facility at a more reasonable, reasonable price. And lastly, if you don't need to show the data center to everybody, if you just want the most secure facility with great network connections, and it's safe, we'll charge you for the C category. And you'll be very happy paying that price, because not everybody needs to be in A real estate. And most people don't want to pay for that. All right? So let's review. We sell co-location. We sell a variety of kinds. We differentiate on security, because everybody should have physical security and they should have those connections. OK? All right, I'm going to ask somebody a question now. I'm going to ask the one colo seller in this room. What am I differentiating on? You're differentiating on security. Very good. Yay, let's give him a hand. <laughs> Woohoo! Mel, give him a cup of coffee, will you? All right. All right. See? Softball. All right? All right, let's keep going. And I want you to imagine that anything that we do is less than stellar. Because my boss, Manny Medina, wouldn't put his name attached to anything that wasn't 
the very best you could be. We believe in excellence. And all of our facilities have passed the M&O data center um, qualification. Uh, it's, it's a way of operating, and it's a way of being audited around your operations. And if you want more information, I'll be happy to share it with you. All right, we got something very, very, very new. Uh, it was just released. We've been in beta for 10 months, and it's working great, and we've just now released to the marketplace. And it's called CXD. It's compute nodes. So what does this mean? I talked to a few people in here that sell colo, uh, cloud services, and of course they left, because this would have been perfect for them. Maybe, maybe somebody that knows them can tell them about this. Okay, so what this is, is imagine that you live here in Fort Lauderdale, and you want, you can't be on a, a hyperscale cloud, like AWS or Azure or even IBM. But you really want to have some flexibility in your infrastructure. You no longer want to buy hardware the way you buy it. You want to be able to have the same flexibility that you have in cloud but you need, an, you need a, a, a platform that will allow you to run things that wouldn't ordinarily run in the cloud. Because for those of you in the know, you know as well as I do that not every application was born in the cloud or optimized for the cloud. So everybody, every company of any size has an application that cannot be run in the cloud. What do you do? Sometimes they'll just sell you a server, you could have a private cloud, but then you're stuck. When it comes to upgrade, you have to buy something else, you have to migrate it, whatever. The idea that they can get, we can provision the network, we can provision hardware, they can add whatever they want on it, any cloud software, any kind of, goodness, anything they want, any orchestration, you're not locked into VMware or anything. We use Nutanix for our hardware, Normally, that's very expensive. But if you combine that with our network services and our data center, we can actually save you, your clients, about 30% of running it themselves. So those of you that are selling managed services and you want to get into more of the data center side or maybe you're already in the data center side, this is a fantastic product. Who would need something like this? Like I said, anybody that has an application that they're not sure what to do with. Do you have a question, sir? Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I feel your pain. Um, we have uh, clients that want to use it for DR. So they're running Nutanix in their facility, their own data center, and they want to be able to fail over to something more than 50 miles away. Or they're running Nutanix in a public data center, and maybe a competitor of mine, and they want another, they, they just want to hedge their bets. They don't want to put all their eggs in the one data center basket, because if that data center goes out of business or something dramatically changes, they want a second provider. It's a wonderful opportunity to do that. And like I said, the, the starting price point is very inexpensive. We're talking like 5,000 a month. And uh, it gives you a lot of resources, and there's a number of things included with that. If you want more information, we're going to do a second training about that at some point. But I wanted to expose you to this product because it's phenomenal. And it will change the way people buy Colo, no question. So I'm going to talk to you about security solutions now. Why it makes sense to differentiate with security right now. Well, I don't have to tell you what's going on in the news. Right? I work with a guy named Leo Taddeo. He came to Sixtera from the uh, FBI Cyber Bureau. He ran with 450 agents in New York City. And he tells stories like you wouldn't believe. But this story in particular um, is scary to me. We all know what Russia did with our elections or what we think they did. Imagine China. Uh, anybody in the Ukraine, and I mean, just doing their own thing and hacking all day long. Do you know what the ROI is for a hacker? It's about 5,500%. 5, 
So 5,900% ROI. So if they spend one hour, they get back whatever their hour fee would be. 5,000 times. Almost six. It's, it's incredible. So you have to do more. And the old way of doing things doesn't work anymore. I'm going to tell you another idea that you probably haven't thought of, because nobody wants to think about this. Imagine the God user in your company. He who has access to all systems. Imagine he gets mad and he leaves. Okay? And he takes everything with him. That happens every day, by the way. Imagine he sets you up for ransomware. What do you do? We're going to show you how, that, how we can help. Yesterday's network access does not protect you like it used to. The firewalls of yesterday, the VPNs of yesterday don't do it anymore. They don't have, they do basic security, but if you're in the cloud and you have your apps internal and you're doing other things, you're using Salesforce, I mean, this is not the four walls of the business anymore that you're protecting. There, there is no four wall perimeter security anymore. So VPNs, once you're in, you're in. Okay, so imagine your grandmother sitting there watching television. She gets a knock at the door. Hello, who's there? It's FedEx. Come in. That's literally all that happens with the VPN. Come in. And they come in. Just because they said that one thing on FedEx, my tool is going to say a few other things. It's going to look and see if you have your truck. Do you have a badge, let's say. These are some examples of contextual things that we look at. Do you have a badge? Are you in a uniform? Okay. Um, were you supposed to be here? Was a package supposed to be delivered? And then it lets you in. Very different than looking at an IP address, if you guys are familiar with this. Tra traditional firewall is the same thing. You got to have them, but they're impossible to administer. Imagine me. Okay, I'm in the sales division of my company. I'm allowed to use Salesforce. I'm, I can get into the finance system, I, I guess, I don't, the payroll. Uh, I can get into a few other systems. Okay, imagine if you had to write firewall rules for every single thing that every single person does in your company. You'd be out of your mind. That's the only way to get this finely ground you know, uh, system with attributes that you can track. And the beautiful thing about this is after you have done it, and it's not hard to do, you can do it with Active Directory. We also have some templates. After you've done this, okay, you can actually watch it and get better. It gets better over time. So we call this zero trust. Zero trust is simply no access. Everybody is considered a bad guy. Everybody's a black hat until we determine that they're a white hat. All right? Simple as that. So when you hear zero trust, remember that crazy gal from Chicago and what she said. And SDP, what's SDP? Software defined perimeter. No longer the four walls that our network could pr protect in the company because they're using cloud, and they're using Salesforce, and they're using all these things. So that's what that means. Okay, so we have the leading SDP based security solution on the market. And I would love for you to introduce us to your clients because they'll be very happy. It starts very inexpensive and it goes up depending on users. It's all about how many users you have and how many you want to use it. Some companies say, I just want my five God users on this. Or I'm just going to use it for the 10 people that do PCI or, or HIPAA for the healthcare ladies. Massively scalable. Um, business cases. So I talked about audit and compliance around the, the two I just spoke of. Um, consistent policies. If you want to have a way to consistently administer policies across the organization, it's an, it's an easy way to do it. Remember, you could do this with a firewall, but it would take you the rest of your life. This is an easy, cost-effective way to do it. Um, if you have a third party, even you guys, some of you are doing managed services. Let me just say this about it. Can you imagine if you went into a prospect and said, I have a special program that sets up extra security between my team and yours? Can you imagine the added value that you could show? 
There are managed services people doing that now, and it does help them. So why deploy it? Lower costs, secure cloud deployments if you've got them, if your clients have them, and any high-risk high apps and data, like the PCI, like the HIPAA, okay? I'm just I'm trying to race so I'm done here. So why work with us? Well, first of all, low barrier to entry. You can get going on security and learn from us. I want to teach you to fish. I don't want to, I don't want to catch it for you. I want to help you make your business better by teaching you security. I had to learn it three years ago. It was not easy. There's all these crazy acronyms. I've got a glossary for you. I'm going to help you do that. You've got to give me a chance. Create larger opportunities. Build these opportunities. You're already in there for one thing. Why not sell them something else? Sell them data center services if you haven't yet. Sell them these security products if you haven't yet. Get your, get your foot wet around security, and you'll see the world it will open up to you. And then lastly, you're, you're already a strategic partner. I'm already assuming you're the trusted advisor. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. And then lastly, this complete channel integration. That just means my salespeople, Tom Galuli at the, Tom, get away from your phone, step away from your phone and wave. Tom is our direct salesperson. And the reason that he's here is because there is no cost to you to partner with our direct team. In fact, we want you to. And why do we want you to? Because we want to teach you to fish. And you can't do that just by getting, doing this course or getting a piece of paper. That's right. That's right. He is. He's, he, I understand he's cheap, but he's not easy. All right. Okay. That's it. I knew it was something like that. So how do, how do you get started? Obviously, you talk to your TCG partner. That's the first step. And then we call Mel. And Melanie is the channel person that's associated with Sixterra. And she and Tom work closely together to make sure that they, they get your needs met in whatever way you need. Okay, I've got time for questions. And the person that asks the question next will get a free We'll get a free gift certificate. Oh, jeez. Uh, All right. Um, His friend. OK, go ahead. The question is, being, being in South Florida, I know that your master is in Tampa. Yes. So what are some of your sales directives for people who question whether it's local or not, whether it's, it's you know, sure. they, want to, they want to be within driving distance? Sure, of sure. Well, you know, it, with co-location, that's always a consideration. Um, but what I will tell you is that we have lots of options. We have CXD that we talked to you about, how you can reach in. And I'll let Tom answer, because he deals with this every day. Yes, so very nice. A great we will we will take you on a tour anytime you want to see it. I would imagine the virtualization side it could be anywhere. But when yes. You have to do a colo side, yes. And you have hardware go down and have to be replaced by another company. That's where that consideration is. Right. Right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You may you may have seen smart hands in the past, something like that. We take it a level higher 
we, we, we want to be very smart hands. And they, they can buy it in bulk, in box, you know, bulk, or they can just buy it at, you know, just pay as they go, too. It's easy. Exactly. Did you have a question, sir? I just had a question about can customers virtualize their applications? Do you have a virtual infrastructure set up where they can virtualize their applications in your data center, or do they have to have physical? Okay, so we're going to give you the platform, but you set up the virtualization that you want. You can use Nutanix. Nutanix has an orchestration level, which is like VMware, and you could use that to set up your own applications or not. You know, it really just depends. We wanted to get, let me tell you what this is all about. This is about helping people get to the data center that don't want to drive there and helping people that are in the data center add capacity without having to spend a lot of money on hardware, being able to reach in from far away. It's a simply, what it is, and it's a very, very good platform. And, um, and then be able to scale as you need and, and perhaps scale down as well and not have to get the, the hardware penalty of having boxes that are underwater. Any other questions? We've got one more time for one more question. No? I promise to continue making it uh, out of myself. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Is it like a special service or an add-on or is part of the Okay. So I'm going to describe this to you the way I understand it. We don't have a special service necessarily for those devices. We assume you're bringing those to work. That BYOD phenomenon, right, bring your own device, is going on everywhere. So our software helps you combat, if you will, any risks that you would, you could bring to the office by bringing your own device. That's that product I talked to you about, SDP. It's called AppGate, by the way. Um, as far as our platform, you can bring any app you want. Any app you're running today in any format that works with mobile devices, it'll, it'll accommodate. It's really just an application. IoT anything okay anybody else anything that anything that can be attached to the internet or to a network we well, can accommodate just like anybody really could from a data center standpoint you have a question yes that, that essentially a virtual server it's not it is a platform by which you can run virtual um, you can run components of a cloud if you want. So if you said to me, I want to run a cloud on that, a private cloud, you would either use our software to do so or you would install VMware or something else. It's a platform, and you can pretty much do what you want with it because it's, it's, it's the compute, it's the power, and the network. If you want to back it up, if you want storage, if you want different things, you're going to have to add those. You're going to have to, you know, we have other vendors that we use to do those things. So it's not my own virtual server. It's, the it's your own virtual it's node. It's, it's not, yeah, it's not, it's dedicated. It's not, um, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a package. It's a, server. it's a package, but it's not, it's not one server. It, it can scale up and it can continue. Sort of, yeah. yeah. It's a yep. Are you used to using Nutanix? Oh, no, I just looked up Nutanix. Okay, exactly. Let me ask this. So if you, get, if you get this service from you, would I then be able to install VMware and then virtualize? Yeah, so okay, you, yeah. You're virtualizing the virtual. Absolutely, absolutely. Whatever you want to do. It runs okay. everything. Okay, Yep. Got it. It's very few things it doesn't run. And VMware would love for you to do that because Nutanix has a free program that does virtualization so okay anything else thank you so much thanks for having us I hope it wasn't too bad <laughs>